Hello everyone, this is 60% Cat here. I'll be playing some Endless Sky. It's an indie game that is fun. Space exploration. I did another video where I kind of described the basics of this game, but now I'm just going to do some straight up playing. Playing that shit. Uh, I don't remember what I was doing last. But I know what I need to do. And I need to go into the um, oh, I, oh, I changed my energy systems and stuff. I do need to go to the new worlds or the open worlds, free worlds. I need to talk, talk to some people. I'll accept this bounty hunting mission in case I ever need to do that. And yeah, so I need to go to the free world. Where do they start? Um, I'm just going to exit and look at my map. So in case you didn't see my last video, I have two heavy warships right now. I have, I'm have i I'm personally driving this um, ship I call the Regality. It's a pre Oh shit, there's pirates. Oh, better fight some. Oh god! Oh jeez! Destroy him! Actually, there's no point to destroy him because we're in an allied system. And, uh... I mean, there's a other allies around. And they're just gonna freaking destroy the ship that I so I can't commandeer it. Why am I frozen? Oh, shit, did he do something to freeze me? He's busting out my other ship. God damn. Well, not really. So you see the, the very bottom left is my friend's stats. Minor top right, my shields, and then my, my hull. Once your hull is to a certain low level, you'll be disabled. And then if you get further than that, then you'll be destroyed. And there's no way I'm going to let anything dis get destroyed. I'm just going to load a previous save. So I have to go to these lower worlds down here to make a story element occur, I guess. So uh, we're going to do a few jumps to go to this place so they can eventually get over there. Right now I have 34 million credits. Um, which should definitely last me a little while. Looks like I'm paying 14,000 every jump. So that's not too bad. So you have to pay your crew salaries. I think I have like a hundred some amount of crew members uh, to run these giant warships. I'll have to make sure I have extra crew on board so if, in case I want to board somebody. Now I'm making these jumps really quick. What the heck? Oh, that's a different ship. I thought that was my guy. I was like, that doesn't look like him. Uh, make sure I have extra crew. Yeah, I have 10, 10 extra guys. I'm going to hire a couple more, just in case uh, any pirates come by that want to commandeer. OK, so where's the first free world? Free world. OK, that's the first one. So we're just, we'll keep going down there. So like I said in my other video, the, the only efficient way I make money is by stealing pirate ships, like getting them really low health and then and then stealing their ship and selling it. Because you get anywhere from a half a million to multi-million dollars or credits for. While every mission, like the cheapest mission is maybe like 10,000. And maybe the highest mission is like 150,000. So it's never worth it to do these extra missions even though they're quote unquote safe. You know. Which I think is partially a, a not as well designed part. Like, probably the missions should pay you a little bit more, I guess. It just seems to make sense. Um, so we're going to land here. Let's recharge our, our, our hyperdrive. So you can tell your hyperdrive jumps by the right here. Is this yellow bars. So each, each segment is a jump. Um... The middle bar is your energy, and the right is your heat. Which, I haven't checked how much heat I generate. Oh, I do? Oh, that's not so bad. My energy is so much better now. It was before it was pretty bad. I had a big battery, but not a good reactor. So the, uh... So my energy would just drain so fast. Okay, I don't even know what happens when you max heat, so I'm just gonna see. I'm maxing out my heat right now. My ship is overheated. Oh. I just like stopped for a second. That's all that happened. So that's not bad. Okay, 
We'll just, nah. There's a pirate in, in the sector. I was going to fight him, but forget about that. Forget about it. Is this a freak world? Okay, so I'm just going to go to each free world and and see what happens. I'm supposed to talk to the spaceport and stuff. Um, but hopefully the next next thing that will happen will be pretty cool. I should be able to get a, a jump, uh, like a warp drive or something. Because there's these, there's these systems I can't access to and I can't seem to get a map to. But apparently I looked online, which I don't like to do unless I'm so stuck, which I was so stuck, so I looked at it. Spaceport. Okay, well nothing happened, so. I think I'll just select the spaceport, and I'll, I'll say anything that's interesting. These free worlds too? There's a lot of free worlds. Oh man. That's a republic right there. I'm right here. Okay, well we're gonna do a lot of a lot of searching, but but this will be good once once we find something. I mean I don't even know what, what really happens. Okay. Nothing happened. So we're down to thirty four point six credits. Uh, there's almost enough allies that I almost was going to fight those pirates. Oh, sweet! Wandering through the spaceport, you have stopped for a moment to read the menu posted in front of a restaurant. When your thoughts are interrupted by the click of a gun being cocked right behind your head and a woman's voice saying, Think fast, Captain! So I have two options. I could do this karate move I saw in a mo video one time, or I could raise my hand slowly into the air and find out what she wants. Yeah, I'm just going to be peaceful. She's like, good choice, she says. Now turn around slowly and don't try any funny business. I've got a semi-automatic pistol pointed right at your head. So I'm going to turn. I could do I could do my first option is try the karate move or I can turn around slowly. I'm going to turn around slowly. You turn around and find yourself facing a woman in Free World's uniform. The chevrons on her collar mark her as some sort of officer. She's grinning at you. Beautifully done, Captain, she says. Such restraint, such remarkable level-headedness. Not something I often see around here. If this thing were loaded, quite a few backcountry rubes in the last few months would have had their brains blown out open before I could even get around to recruiting them. What the fuck? What the fuck does that even mean? She lowers the gun. And I'm going to say, you mean that was some sort of test? You're not trying to mug me? I need a civilian for some courier work, she says. Nothing illegal, at least nothing the Republic can pin on you. It just needs to be done by a ship that isn't flying our colors, and by a captain who isn't going to scream. Death to all tyrants, and going in with guns blazing the first time your cargo gets scanned. What do you say? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure I'm ready to pick sides in this war yet. Look, kid, she says, when I ask you to pick sides, when I offer a mission that's going to burn some burn some bridges for you, I won't be sneaky about it. I'll tell you exactly what you're signing up for. What I'm offering you now is just a chance to get to know us and let us get to know you with no expectations. Heck, you can even run missions for the reps at the same time. I said, that sounds fair. I'll hear you out. Okay, here's the deal. We need some cargo carried from Glory to Sky Moon. It's just medical supplies. No bombs, no contraband, but we'll load it into your ship in the dead of night, trying our best to avoid any notice. But the reps have the sharpest eyes in the galaxy, so you'll get noticed right away. And since anything done in the dead of night is likely to arouse their suspicions, you'll get boarded and searched. Meanwhile, the real cargo will have been loaded onto one of our ships in broad daylight, and will pass through the Republic's space entirely unnoticed. Uh, see, I don't, I don't really want to get bad with the Republic. So it gives me two options here. I could say, I like the way you think, count me in. Or I could say, sorry, it sounds a bit too shady for my liking. Please don't offer me any work in the future. I don't know if this is going to like close off any opportunities. So for the sake of progressing the story, I think I'll say I like it. 
She's great, she says, grinning even more broadly. My name's Katya Reynolds, by the way. Glad we'll be working together. She starts to walk away, then seems to remember something. One last thing. Some friends of mine on Glory tourists need a lift off that rock, and I owe them a fare. Would you mind saving two bunks for them? Sure, no problem. I guess I didn't have an option. Excellent. I'm looking forward to doing business with you, Captain. Oh, I'm a captain. Ooh. Okay, so... Your current mission, assist the free world. Stop by the glory in the waves and pick up two passengers and switch cargo and distract the public from a more important cargo exchange going on simultaneously. Okay, so I need a warp there, so we'll just go here for now. I don't know, this sounds a little sketchy. So the Republic owns most of the systems. They're kind of the most central and everywhere. Again, I see pirates, but I don't bother to fight them because I can't. Unless I'm alone, it's not worth fighting them. But if I am alone, then I can wreck them, get them to a low health, and then steal their ship and sell it, and it's great. I really like how it jumps automatically for you. I just get to sit back and just, just enjoy the space flight. Engage at my command. I've been watching a lot of Star Trek lately, The Next Generation, and oh man, I love it. I'm working on a space game right now too, so this helps all in the design process. Okay, refueling. Okay. Oh, sweet. oh, never mind. There's some pirates, but there's other ships, so forget about it. So I guess I have to go here to, as far as I can go. I could. It'd be nice to have a like, little space battle. Oh, here we go. There's nobody around. <gasps> yes. Oh, don't. There's some other guys. Don't get it. Don't blow me up. You fucking dicks. Fucking dicks. Fucking assholes. I wish I could destroy you, but I can't. God damn it. Little pinheads. I wanted that pirate shit. Why don't you just let me get it? You just slaughter them. Got one through space. Yeah, so it's really useful to look in the top left in the radar. Um, so blue guys are allies, green are my sh fleet, and then uh, orange is going to be a pirate ship. Or if there's another enemy too, which I've never really seen any other one. Whoa, 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 whoa. The moon is uninhabited. Oh, okay. I thought I couldn't refuel. I almost freaked out. You know, it would have been that big of a deal. I could have just asked an ally to refuel me. And then my, the other guy in my fleet has a lot of, a lot of hyperdrive fuel. So he could fill me up too. Okay, now we should be able to make it. We'll see what happens. I hope, I hope nothing bad happens to me. Nothing hostile. See, the Republic owns all the middle, like a huge chunk of the middle. So it would really suck to have that hostile. It really suck bad. But we'll see what happens. Soon after you land, a middle-aged tourist couple approach you and ask if you'd be willing to take them to Skymoot. To see the dragons! Katarina recommended you! You tell them you'd be glad to. The man, who is wearing floral print shorts and carrying an absurdly large camera, introduces himself as Marty. And this is my wife, Sarah, he adds. Would you mind taking a picture of us? They pose in front of your ship. Better take two pictures in case she blinks, says Marty. As you help them bring their oversized suitcases on board, you can't help wondering why Katya would be friends with such a quintessential pair of rich, uncultured buffoons. Much later that night, as planned, three shadowy figures load a set of unmarked crates into your cargo bay. Katya assured you that the contents are harmless, just intended to distract the Republic security officers, but you can't help feeling like you're going to get involved in something shady. I know, I'm literally feeling that, not just 
that telling me I feel that way. So, aren't I supposed to get scanned or something? Or no, I gotta take them somewhere? Okay, where do I take them? Missions. Assist the free worlds. God damn it. <laughs> It has to be long distance every time. We'll go to Seoul, which is the which is where Earth is, the system of Earth. Okay, we'll see what happens. I'm a little scared. I did tell the lady, I'm not ready to pick sides yet, but who knows why wouldn't a stranger just take advantage of me, you know? She might hurl me into, uh, into something I have no choice to, except to be on their side. Like if, if I have made an enemy with somebody. Although the game likes to put these little notations, like these little phrases that the Republic is kind of this huge bank. It's not letting anybody do anything. So here's Earth. There's a spaceport on the moon that's pretty cool. When you land on Earth and open your ship's main hatch, you find yourself facing a Navy officer with several armed guards in tow. He says, Sorry, sorry, Captain, but you've been selected for a random cargo screening. Okay, I'll let them in. You let the officer and his companions into your cargo boy bay. They immediately zero in on the crates that were loaded up during the night. One of the guards runs a quick scan and says, No explosives, no radiation. The Navy officer says, Would you mind telling us what's in these crates? Um, I could say just medical supplies, surgical gear mostly, or I could say just some secret illegal things, or I could say I've never seen those crates before in my life. I don't know where they came from. Let's do just medical. Any biological material or restricted medications, he asks? No, sir, you say. He says, I'm afraid we're going to have to search these crates. The guard grabs a couple of crowbars and begins prying the lids off of them. The contents turn out to be Relatively innocuous, although one box full of scalpels and other surgical implements gives them pause. As they open crate after crate without finding anything incriminating, you tell the officer is getting more and more frustrated and uncomfortable. When the last crate turns out to contain nothing but bandages and gauze pads, his frustration turns to embarrassment. They repack the crates and nail the lids back on. I'm sorry, says the officer. We must have been responding to a bad tip. I'm very sorry for this invasion of your privacy, Captain. Uh, I could say, never mind, I know you're just doing your job. Or I could say, since when has the Republic gotten so heavy-handed about searching civilian ships? Definitely going to say that in number two. I'm sorry, Captain. Since the terrorist attacks, everyone's been on edge. I hope you won't think badly of us, and they leave. Okay, well, glad that it didn't turn out bad. Thank God. It's interesting how to land on a, on a, a Republic planet for that uh, story element to occur. I probably could have... No, I don't think I could have avoided that. No, I probably could have. I could have been... I don't know. Who knows? I could have just refueled my hyperdrive with allies all the time. Okay, so we need to go here, right? So we'll go here to, re to refuel. This makes me feel like I'm in a real space adventure. It's like an episode of Star Trek. And that in my in my Aegean game, that's what I want to create is a sense of uh, space interactions that are unique. And I think that's why you really need a multiplayer element to create that. You need resources to create limitation and value. You uh, as well as as well as place. You need space and time to divide things and create legions coalitions you know that inevitably creates all sorts of social interaction sweet I can make another last of my domes I wonder what will happen next I don't really want to pursue helping the free worlds against the republic but if I feel like that's the only way to get a jump drive, I will, I will do it. 
I must explore further. I wonder what's in those extra systems that are outside of my range. Probably something rally great. Okay, next jump. Okay, I'm about to have used a million credits of jumping. Or crew salaries. I guess I didn't need to always have this extra crew on board. I just like having it just in case, because if it comes down to it and, and you didn't have it, I would be pissed off. When you land on Sky Moot, before your engines have been, even had a chance to cool, Katya comes aboard your ship. When she sees your passenger, she breaks into a wide grin. Lynn, she says, running up and hugging the woman who introduced herself as Sarah. Then she turns to Marty and says, And Henry, so good to see you both. Captain John, allow me to introduce you to Professor Lynn Anderson, one of the galaxy's premier planetary scientists, and her husband Henry, a former Navy intelligence officer. I'm going to say, wait a minute, were they the secret cargo? Katya explains, the Andersons are defecting to the free world. worlds. Their dream is to make a terraforming a public service, supported by government funds rather than a luxury available only to the richest of planets. We worked for years to get Parliament to accept the idea, but with no luck. And because of Henry's knowledge and background about the intelligence community, the Republic would have stopped them if they knew they were defecting. She adds, The real secret cargo, which arrived several days ago via a faster ship, was their personal possessions. And Lynn's lab equipment and instruments, which were loaded into a ship supposedly bound for Hestia. We had just rented a cottage... We had just created a cottage here, says Henry, saying we were downsizing. We'll lose the security deposit, of course, but it gave us an excuse to pack up and move. Katya says, you might not guess it from the outfit he's wearing, but Henry is an absolute mastermind at subtlety and misdirection. He planned the whole thing. She hands you a credit chip for 100,000 credits. Pfft, it's nothing. Thanks so much. Thanks so much for your help. If you're willing to continue helping the free worlds, meet me in the spaceport bar in half an hour. Well, fuck. Okay. <laughs> when you enter the bar, Katya waves you over to the table. I've got another friend who needs to be transported, she says. This one is a boondock planet near the core right now. Oh, yes, yeah, near the core? Sure, I'd be glad to transport him. Great. His name is Mr. Ice, and he'll meet you in the foundry in the Enikar system. For his safety, I'd rather not tell you anything about his work. But I assure you, he's an upstanding citizen. A little unpopular with big corporations and certain corrupt local governments, though. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. Okay, more just ridiculous traveling. All the way over there? Good God. Can't stop me now. Do the flash. I want to get a warp drive. See, I'm more interested in in uh, equipment progression than storyline progression. But the storyline progression enables me to have equipment progression. It's interesting what drives people in different games. That's one reason I like playing all these different kind of games. I get to see my own motivation. <laughs> well, I burned up that 100,000 credits in no time. What do you know? Land in the system. I got such sweet thrusters. Okay, I'm just gonna take off like 10 guys. Oh shit! I just don't want him to kill me, so that won't happen though. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> On to Delta Capricorn! On to Delta Capricorn! Capricornus, Upicornus. If I could fly through space, I would, I do, that's what I'm doing right now. What year did this start? I feel like, I feel like it was 3016 for whatever reason. As days go by in the water underground, 
once in a lifetime. I should be paying attention that my guy's not falling behind. The little wasp drones. Yeah, I like this game with all the different kind of ships that you can get. Wow, look at those guys dueling it out. It's funny. I can see why they're intended. How the kind of systems work right now with... Um, with various ships, uh, you know, randomly appearing at different systems. But I don't know. I, I just... I think I think all the ships could, should be literal. They should be remembered and be unique in that way. And fuck, I maybe they are. I don't even like. I don't even know. But it does seem pretty random when they appear places. It's kind of like city skylines where every person has. You know, they have to go. To, they have to go to their job. They have to do all their little things. As soon as you land and open your ship's hatch, a man wearing sunglasses and a ridiculous hat and carrying a large metal suitcase runs past you and into your ship, casting a quick, furtive glance behind him to see if anyone is following. I'll quickly shut the hatch and find out if he's okay. You shut the hatch to keep anyone else from boarding your ship, then turn around to find out who your visitor is. My name is Joe, you say. How can I help you? That's me. <laughs> I'm I just Springborn, he says, pronouncing the name like eyes. He, he takes off the uh, the glasses and hat. Councillor Reynolds told me to meet you. Wait, Councillor Reynolds? You mean Katya is in Parliament? He looks genuinely shocked. You didn't you didn't know that woman is a legend. Did two terms representing the dirt belt, defender of small worlds and the common people. In some circles, her work has made her almost as unpopular as me, but she got tired of working for her reform and decided to create her own government instead. And what do you work for, you ask? Vigilant, vigilante nuclear power plant inspector, he says nonchalantly. I'm going to say, um, what? He looks uh, um, what? I go from world to world, checking out plant emissions to see if they're leaking isotopes into the air, the sea, or the groundwater. And if they are, I sick the Department of Atomic Safety on them. The syndicate hates my guts right now. So what has Katya asked you to do for the free world, you ask? Isn't it obvious, he says. We're going to hunt down certain naughty people who have been developing nuclear weapons, and the free worlds will turn them over to the Republic. Then the Republic will know that the free worlds weren't behind the attacks, and will stop this whole mess before it devolves into a civil war. I'm going to say, so you're convinced that the free worlds are innocent? Absolutely, he says. It makes no sense. First of all, the attack hurt their cause more than it helped. And second, I've known Katarina and her friends in the coalition for a long time. There's no way they would agree to such a thing. So whoever is responsible is out there somewhere, and the free worlds will bring them to justice. And I say, well then, what's your plan? What's our plan? First, he says, we need to go to Geminis, when the attack happened. I can explain more when we get there. In the meantime, I should also warn you that I seem to have a terrible luck with pirates showing up wherever I go. It's almost like someone has put a price on my head, he grins. Um, it sounds pretty literal. Are pirates going to be fighting me all the time? Okay, it was made a little more interesting. Okay, let's go here and let's go there to go there. Okay. As long as I keep jumping, I should be safe from pirates. Shit. He wasn't joking. Fuck, I can't. Aw, oh, damn it. I gotta, I gotta fight them. They're interrupting my jump sequence. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> There's a sitting duck right there. Oh, there's definitely more pirates than I'm used to seeing. Whew! Dodged it. Shit, there's so many pirates! Oh, fuck, I died! God damn it! Well, this guy wasn't kidding. I should have saved before this. Where we hit to go again? To there? Okay. So my jumping technique should be get out of the way of the center if I'm being shot at. 
and then jump. Okay, this should be a safe jump because there's a lot of allies. Okay, there's a lot of guys, so I'm just gonna go really fast and then jump. My partner is getting shot at, but it's okay. I think once I leave, they, they stop manifesting, so. Okay, he's in my system, that's good. We're gonna land here just to recharge. Oh, there's no nothing to land on. Okay, I have to go over here. No, I can land. Permission to let board land. Okay, I'm just gonna get more crew. And just feel more comfortable. Uh, caster, is that where I'm going? This is interesting plot lines. Like I like I like the story so far. It's pretty cool. What's cool is they talk about like the banks screwing over people, which references like the real world. Okay, I'm in the system. Oh, I thought those guys at first were pirates. I was scared. It turns out that the suitcase Mr. Eyes is carrying is full of portable sensors. He fires them up while explaining to you what he's doing. Each world, and even each mine, has a slightly different mix of isotopes and their fissionable elements, he explains. So what I'm doing right now almost is like taking a fingerprint. Once we've got it, we can try to find a match on another planet. I'd be willing to bet the material just came from a civilian reactor core, so tracking it back to the mine wouldn't necessarily incriminate anyone. But developing nukes is tricky, so they probably did tests. And if we could find a test site, that may lead us to the perpetrators. A few minutes later, his measurements are done. Got it, he says. Time to start hunting. Katya said to meet up with her on Rand. It's not our best bet, but it's on the list of suspects. Just a monkey running the planets? Eh? I tell you, it ain't cheap to, to fly around space. With, with this big of a, a fleet. I mean, it's not that. I mean, I only have two vehicles. At one time, I had like seven guys, like smaller guys. I mean, they're mostly pirates that I took over. It's just not really smart to hang on to little guys because they'll they get shot and they're done. Dunzo, Dunzo, Washington. Don't look at any more pirate problems are happening. It's good. Can't believe I just drink a whole. French press of coffee and I'm yawning. Land on the planet New Austria. Okay. Nothing but jumps. They say white men can't jump. My name's Joe John, I gotta be white, huh? Oh god, it's the same type of ship that I have. As soon as you land, Mr. Ice fires up his sensors and begins collecting data. A few minutes later, Katya shows up. Eyes, she says. It's great to see you again. You too, counselor, he says. Katya hands you a credit chip for another a hundred thousand. Oh, fucking shite. Um. Thanks again, Captain. Did I just explain the plan to you? You nod. Well, she says, if you've got space for the two of us and want to be part of seeing justice done, let's meet up at the spaceport once I is done analyzing his data. Okay, I go to the spaceport. You find you find Eyes and Katya sitting in the shade of one of the few trees in the port. Drinking some sort of frozen milkshakes while they stare out at the desert and talk in hushed voices. When you join them, Katya says, I was just filling eyes in on the Navy's recent fleet mobilization. Half the dirt belt is swarming with cruisers and surveillance drones right now. It's hard to believe that we can find the attackers before they do, unless there's somewhere the Navy hasn't thought of to look. Agreed, says eyes, and to make matters worse, their senses are probably much better than mine. Katya appears to be struck by a sudden idea. The sensors 
on their drones, she says. They're unmanned drones. Eyes glances at her, sees her expressions, and says, No, Counselor, don't even think of it. That's a horrible idea. No, she says, it's brilliant. Captain John, are you, f are you familiar with the dereliction and Savage Act, Salvage Act 2976? Say, so never heard of it. Well, she says, it started when the Syndicate began experimenting with fully automated mining facilities on uninhabitable planets. Pirates started raiding the mines to steal equipment, and the Syndicate claimed that these installations were, quote-unquote, colonies, and it was the Navy's job to defend them. The act of Parliament's response, stating the good, taking goods from a human being, is piracy. But if the owner or some living representation of theirs is not present in the system, taking those goods is a legal salvage operation. The point was to keep the Navy from being obligated to defend every equipment, cash, or abandoned station in the galaxy. But by the same law, those Navy surveillance drones became abandoned goods the moment their motherships left the system. And I'll say, yep, that makes perfect sense to me. She's like, great, says Katya. All we had to do is disable a drone, board it, yank out the surveillance equipment, and bring it back here to test it out. Uh, Eyes says... Captain, we should warn you, when you attack a drone, any Republic folks in that system will get mad at you. But once you jump out of the system, they'll calm down again. Oh no, I do attack Republic vehicles. Would you stop in the spaceport for a drink? The bar seems to be frequented mostly by the managers of the mining corporation. You suspect the workers don't earn enough to visit a bar very frequently. In one corner, two of the managers are having a very animated discussion. When they see you, they say... Hello there, Captain. Interested in taking us on a business trip? And I'll say, what sort of trip? To glory, to the Academy of Planetary Sciences, he says. This world is rich in resources, and we're thinking that if we could only cool it down the deserts a bit and get more plants to grow here, it would be a decent place to live. We've been dreaming about this for years, and I think it's about time to go pay for a terraforming consultant to tell us whether it's actually possible or not. I'll be sure I'd take you out there. Wait, where am I going? Uh, I don't remember, but it'll be on my missions thing. Okay. Okay, I have a lot of missions. Drone hunting. I drew drone hunting over here? Oh, God. Okay. Let's hunt for drones. Okay, here's just a regular pirate. Oh, I could probably take him over because there's no... Yes, yes, yes. You are mine. Yes! So I should definitely win. I'll attempt to capture. Attack. You attack, you lose one crew, and they lose seven. You've succeeded in capturing the ship. I'm gonna land to heal that ship. Sweet, I have a little a little ship now. Probably need to refresh my crew a little bit. So you never know when there's gonna be a wayward pirate. Okay, so I have to find a drone, I guess. Disable it and then escape the system. Sounds a little sketch. Oh, that's is that a drone? No, that's a fuck. It's the same kind of pirate. Well, there's a oh sweet, it's still alive. No way. Got another one of these. Holy shit. Sweet. Yes, I have a fleet of four now. Mwah. And I can sell these guys, I think, for three million or something like that. I think two to four million, something like that. Another one of the same ship. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? A third one in the row? Dude, this is monies. Sweet, sweet monies. I don't know what my next big purchase is going to be, honestly. Okay, is the same thing going to happen? Is there just like a weird glitch going on right now? Look at that. More than double. Look, it's the same thing. What the hell? Okay, well, there's an ally who destroyed it, so. Oh, here's a tiny one. He got totally wrecked. From my big fleet. I wonder what kind of equipment these little guys have. Hmm, I'm looking for those drones. Whatever. I 
they do it, they do. okay. <laughs> I can't help but take it over. It's just so worth it. Yes. There's a little guy. The rectum. Well, I don't see how I can get drones right now. See, I lose a lot of crew whenever that happens. Oh shit, I bet I have a bunch of paint. Oh my god, I have a million dollars owed for death benefits. Holy shit. Well, I want to pay that now so I don't have to do it because there's a point one interest. No, not borrow. I can borrow a million credits. That's it. We'll pay all. There we go. Oh, that's a that's an enemy. Oh my god, it's the same ship. This is crazy. I mean, I'm just gonna. I have to land to repair him, and then another one comes out. Oh shit, these guys are way bigger. Yeah, I'll take that guy. Why not? <laughs> ah, this is so ridiculous. Oh my gosh. Somebody's shooting missiles. How many... F oh, I think I got disabled. Is he disabled? I think I saw him. Oh, he's... What's funny is if you leave a ship in a system disabled, you can go back to that system and get them, but they'll be in, in like a random spot and they won't, you can't use, you can't like toggle through all the current ships. You have to look on your radar and see where there's like a green spec and then you can go and, and board him to regenerate him or to undisable him and re-enable him. Okay, is this a no? It's a it's a little hauler. This is so hilarious. Okay, I'd like to go through this mission here instead of keep stealing ships. I w I wanted to steal ships the whole time, but damn, this is sweet. It feels cool to have a whole fleet. It actually might be worth it to have like a little guy who kind of stays behind and shoots missiles from far away. I don't know. Do you not know Sam I am? Well shit, I don't know where those drones are. Do I have to go somewhere else? Drone hunting? Disable the surveillance drone, ideally where no cruisers are watching, board it and salvage it. Where the fuck do I find a drone? There's just pirates everywhere. I'm just conquering them with effortlessnessness. Well, this is definitely the place to get pirates. Okay, I'm gonna go to a shipyard to sell all these guys. Oh my god, there's no shipyards nearby. Where's my mission going to? Way up there? Okay, so I might as well go this way. So I'll go to this system. I uh, hope these, oh my little guys I just got have enough jumps to reach that place. I could look on the bottom left to see their yellow bar if any of them get really low. Okay, I'm gonna stay here until they catch up. Okay. It looks like they all have some jumps left, so that's good. Oh god, what's happening? Okay, we'll land here. Okay, they're all here. Yeah, I have this random little guy who's in some other system. So, he's been there forever. Alright. So, you can look at all my ships. Like, if I sold my main ship right now, it'd sell for 24 million. This guy would sell for 28 million. So, let's see. This guy, only 1.7. You know, I'm just curious what their equipment is. I'm going to look at that. No, I do not want to reload equipment. He's got, he just, he just has missiles and rockets. Heavy rocket launcher and meteor missile launcher. A really good shield. Um, wow. Interesting. Are they all the same? This guy has javelins instead and some blasters. And the rest have that pretty much the same. It looks like there's two different kind of models. Oh, I have so many ships. 
Um, okay, sell this guy for 1.7. They're all little guys. I thought they were bigger. Well, I definitely could use the money, so. I'm at 32 million. I started at like, I think 34, 35. So it'd be nice to get closer to, oh yeah, I'm 35 already. Sweet, sweet monies. Funny, they all have unique names. This one's called Jenny. It's called Deering. This guy's only 1.7, 1.1 million. All right, now I'm up to 42 million. Fuck yes. Um, okay. And I'm just going to stop the recording there for now because I, I don't seem to be progressing. But uh, thanks for joining. If you want to see more, just let me know. Thanks.